everybody, here's the bees, and right now we're heading on down to Galena, Illinois. Uh, we're going to a Civil War reenactment, and we plan on taking a number of videos and showing you the sights of what goes on, and on our way down and on our way back, we're also going to do some sightseeing. So come along with us. We're, we're going to have a really good time. And I'll show you Mr. B driving right over there. There he is. Hey, glad you could come with us. I think we'll have a good time. You purrs. We'll catch up with you later. Look, dear. Dear. <laughs> and there's the Welcome to Minnesota sign on the other side of the road. Bye-bye! So I'm going to pan over and, and uh, you can see the Mississippi River. Oh, oh, there's a barge. Oh, and there's the deer again. So we're north of Prairie du Chien, about 20 miles. We saw this historical marker and I had to pull off, of course. Battle of Bad Axe. This has to do with the uh, Black Hawk Wars. So everybody remembers Lincoln, right? He was a captain in the Black Hawk Wars, so kind of makes it a little more interesting. Here's another one. How well you can see that on the stone, but if you can see it, take a read. And this shows about where we're at. Okay, I wanted to show you how the scenery has changed. We are south of Prairie du Chien and out of the river valley, and now we're up out into the prairie. Now I'm just going to pan out, out the windshield. Oh, glorious prairie. I love the prairie. It just really just speaks to me. Something about it that I just really, really like. So we're passing through the town of Lancaster in Wisconsin. And, uh, Hey, this town is so neat, I just had to stop and make a short video of it. The courthouse is right in the middle of town in a town square, so I'm going to show you what this all looks like. Now here's the Civil War Monument. That kind of ties in with uh, what we're doing in Galena. Now there's a Civil War soldier sitting on top of a water fountain. And this is the Grant County Courthouse. And I'll try to zoom in. Look at that dome. It's all copper. I just love things like that. There's a plate on the corner of the building, 1902. Well, I'm going to see if we can get a look and see if we can go up into that rotunda. 
the front entrance to that courthouse. Okay, that's cool. See what that says? GAR headquarters. That kind of fits right in. Well, this is like a little museum. And once again, we're in the Grant County Courthouse in Wisconsin. On our way to Galena, we stopped here. See the things you find along your way? Well, I think that was well worth the stop. I don't know about you. We'll see what else is in this town before we head out. What did I tell you? Can I sniff out a museum or what? I just wanted to talk to you just for a minute. You know that white Civil War monument that uh, we showed you um, near the beginning of when we first came into town? That goes back to 1862. We were told that uh, they got started just a little bit earlier than some other folks with their Civil War monuments. So I think that's awesome. I mean, that whole monument with the little white pedestals with the cannon barrels on top of it. It was all made in 1862. So now we're in Dickeyville, Wisconsin, at the grotto. So I'm gonna walk around, give you an idea of how big this place is. The gift house is closed, but we can still walk. The grotto and shrines erected in the village of Dickeyville, Wisconsin, on Holy Ghost Parish grounds are the works of Father Matthias Wernerus, a Catholic priest, pastor of the parish from 1918 to 1931. His handiwork in stone, built from 1925 to 1930, is dedicated to the unity of two great American ideals, love of God and love of country.
have to put those little stones in. I mean, look at all these stones. That took a lot of work for somebody to do that. Well, I hope you enjoyed that little stop. I don't think we're far from Galena now. So, we probably won't see you again till we get there. Well, we made it to Galena. Now the next thing is a reenactor. You've got to register. Yep. Give all your vital information. Yeah. Next so, to kin. So we'll be we'll be heading off towards the registration tent. And there we fill out a form and it gives you your rules and regulations and and you sign a waiver so that if you get hurt they're not responsible for you. Also because you have to with the rules, some of them make you sign the rules too. So mm -hmm. if you break the rules you're out. <laughs> Serious stuff. So we'll go look for that registration tent now. So that's the registration form we filled out. And Diane's got the, the map and I think the schedule of events probably. Here's the rules about um, black powder and where to park and reenactor pass and all that good stuff. So you need to have all that with you. So that's what the reenactors fill out. And then, of course, this is your setup day, so everybody's setting up their camps. I'll give you just a short view of that. So, you know, vehicles and modern street clothes and stuff like that. And then out here, This will probably be the battlefield for tomorrow. And tonight you'll see people running around here in everyday clothes, but tomorrow everyone will be dressed in character.